pressurized air. The methods of pressurizing are we can pressurize with air pressure. Uh, we can put a spring on there. We'll show you a picture of that. And we can use our own hydraulic fluid in an ingenious little method to pressurize. This one here is showing we've got this cabin air up here. So, so the pres same pressurization that we use to, um, to pressurize the cabin, we can use to pressurize the um, reservoir. Here we have an engine-driven pump that's coming off of it. And there's a couple of other ways that we, some, some airplanes, you can use cabin air, and you can also use engine bleed air to pressurize. In this case, this is the, what I call the ingenious little system to use our own hydraulic fluid to pressurize. So um, what we do is, this is the fluid in the, this where it says fluid, this is the fluid in the reservoir. On this side, this is vented. See, there's a vent here. That's a vent to outside. But then what they do is um, they have a line that goes into the center and is connected to this piston, and it takes high-pressure hydraulic oil, and it, it routes it into here and pushes against that, and that pulls this piston down. And so we can... Um, pressurize it using it our own fluid. That's what this picture is showing. It's the same type of thing. This is this is showing us more like what it'd be because the fluid would be on the bottom of the reservoir. But our high pressure comes in here. It pushes. This is a solid wall, solid wall, solid wall. And it pushes. This piston is connected here and it pushes it down. And that's how we... Now there's a, uh, there's a standpipe here that sticks out the top and we can see how much fluid we have. Is, a, is, a, is the reservoir empty or is it full, right? That's another ingenious little method. And then the last way we can pressurize uh, this is we can just put a spring on it. So here's our hydraulic fluid down here at the bottom, this black, and then this spring is going to push down and pressurize our fluid. Now let's talk about unpressurized uh, reservoirs. What does one of those look like? This is a uh, brake actuator. This is your toe brakes. Your, this is the piston that you push. So when you push on your brakes with your feet, it moves this rod. And there's a, a piston down here that pressurizes the brakes. But built into this is a hydraulic uh, reservoir. So you can see this top part is the reservoir. And then down here, this shaft goes down. And, and that's where my plunger is. And this is what we're looking at. There's a spring down here and a plunger. But this area up here... We put the hydraulic fluid, the reservoir, reservoir is built right in. So for pressurized reservoirs, those are the ones we looked at up here, up at the very top, uh, the head pressure, uh, you have to relieve that before you open the cap. Why am I telling you that? Because you're going to get a hydraulic oil shower. The airplane comes in for flying, from flying, and that hydraulic reservoir is pressurized and you go over you go oh hey we need to put some oil in you pop the cap and when you pop the cap you get a hydraulic shower so there's a release button to release the pressure the air pressure that's on top of that hydraulic uh, uh, hydraulic reservoir the reservoir can contain several filtering elements the type of filter and fill filter is basically a coarse filter so you usually have an inlet screen or you have something very coarse and sometimes you'll have a second type of filter in the reservoir you could have that second filter located someplace else in the hydraulic system. Here we have a picture of a reservoir, and you can see there's a, there's a fill filter. This is kind of like a screen here. And then they have an additional filter down lower in the reservoir. So that's what we've got on reservoirs. They store fluid. They provide cooling. They have baffles in them to keep things from foaming. Uh, some are pressurized. They're pressurized two or three different ways, with a spring, uh, with air pressure, sometimes with hydraulic pressure. Uh, some unpressurized reservoirs are usually in things like brake systems and little airplanes that fly in low altitudes. Thanks for watching.